Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News at 11 p.m. Only on two, a deadly attack at the park. A beloved family pet mauled by another dog. And tonight, the victims are sharing their story. They say the owner of the off-leash dog took off after the attack. CBS 2's Chris Holmstrom is live in Newberry Park to show us where this all happened. Chris? Pat and Jeff, this family is just heartbroken, but they're also frustrated with animal control, saying they haven't heard anything since they first filed this report. Well, that seemed to change once we started making some phone calls. It was love at first sight with whiskey for me. Carol is remembering her 11 year old Pomeranian whiskey. I just cried uh, in disbelief. I mean, I still think that he's at Jessica's house, he's going to come back. It was Thursday afternoon. Carol's mother in law was walking Whiskey and Fabio at Newberry Gateway Park when she says an unleashed German Shepherd attacked one of the dogs. She didn't want to show her face, but tells me it was very traumatic. And the dog grabbed from my right hand side, he grabbed Whiskey. And he mauled him. He, he grabbed him by the throat. She says during the attack, she too was injured and had to get stitches on her upper lip. And since it was in the middle of the day, there were plenty of witnesses around. This other lady with a German Shepherd, she was just tugging, like pulling her dog. And that's what we noticed with the, old, the lady with the little dog. She was just like, I saw her dog laying on the grass and it wasn't moving. Diana Perez was with her friend when they saw the attack. She asked the lady what had happened and she, she told my friend that um, her dog bit the, the smaller dog. So then she just left. And never came back. Whiskey was pronounced dead at the vet. The family contacted animal control, and during our interview, we noticed they were checking the plaza for surveillance, hoping to find video of the woman's vehicle. Do the right thing and come forward. You really just feel for this family. And to give you an idea of where we are, the park is right across the street. The lady parks somewhere in this plaza. Witnesses say she was driving a gray SUV. If you know anything about this, you're asked to call Animal Control. Reporting live from Newberry Park, I'm Chris Holmstrom, CBS 2 News. Chris, thank you. Major traffic on the 101 in East Hollywood tonight after a police pursuit ended in flames. Police were chasing a stolen car on the northbound 101 at Melrose when the driver crashed. He was able to get out just before the car exploded. Well, that car continued to burn while fire crews tried to make their way through that traffic. Firefighters eventually got to the car and put out the flames. Yes, we are just days away, and here is a live look at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, where the Rams are going to be facing off against the Patriots in Super Bowl 53 this Sunday. <laughs> the Rams are in Atlanta, and they are already getting ready. And CBS2 Sports Director Jim Hill was at today's festivities in Atlanta, where the players and the coaches met with the media. Super Bowl 53 officially got underway today here in Atlanta, Georgia, as both the Rams and the Patriots took part in Media Day. Both teams met at the State Farm Arena looking stoic for all the fans and media in attendance, and the Rams were led by quarterback Jared Goff. Then it was the Patriots' turn to come on stage, and they were led, of course, by quarterback Tom Brady. And for the first time, both teams faced each other on stage. And how about this? At one point during the event, quarterbacks Tom Brady and Jared Goff sat next to each other, and there was a little friendly banter between the two. I'm not giving him any advice. <laughs> Crazy. Or I remember whichever one it was where you were playing Carolina. I do remember that one. What do you remember? I remember them winning. I remember Vinatieri, uh, last second field goal. And even the head coaches, the Rams, Sean McVay, and the Patriots, Bill Belichick, shared a friendly moment with each other. I was just so appreciative of somebody of his nature to even take the time to send a text after we had won a game earlier this year. And to get a chance to have the platform to be able to, you know, get a chance to meet people like Coach Belichick that are willing to share and, and help, uh, you know, that means a lot. They've led the league in scoring basically both years. Uh, they're, you know, won a ton of games. Uh, they're very well coached. They're fundamentally sound. They're tough. They can play in all situations. And so tomorrow, final preparations will begin for Super Bowl 53 between the Rams and the New England Patriots. Reporting live from Atlanta, Georgia, I'm Jim Hill. Pat and Jeff, back to you now. Oh, yeah, bring it on. Well, here at home, the city has gone blue and gold as Rams fever is taking over L.A., including 
the iconic Randy's Donut Shop in Inglewood. And CBS 2's Crystal Cruz is live at Big Wang's in North Hollywood, where fans will get together to cheer on the Rams. Crystal. Hi, Pat. I love saying that. Big Wings. We are here at Big Wings. They're getting ready for their party. We are six days out until we take down that Tom Brady. And tonight, two local songwriters are hoping they've got a hit song on their hands. It just has that beat. And it has that, you know, the whole crowd. You can hear the whole stadium just rocking to it. It just has that throw your hands up and get down on Super Bowl Sunday vibe. Cause in my house we get loud, 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 yeah. Friends Sean Thomas and Nick Brown wrote this little ditty yeah. for our city. Who the best fans? We the best fans. Who the best fans? We the best fans. Yeah. the best fans, 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 yeah. LA is going all out for the Rams. Randy's iconic donuts has gone yellow. That means everyone's starting to get on the Ram bandwagon. Once they win the Super Bowl next week, the whole city will get on it. No bandwagon fan here. The Rams, I've always said, are more than just a football team. They're like family to me. Super fan Sal Martinez owns Golden Rams Barbershop in Westminster. I mean, ever since I've grown up, everything I've gone through, you know, first break, uh, heartbreak, all this stuff, the Rams always pulled me out of anything that I was struggling with. And some fun facts for you tonight. This year, more Americans than last year plan to watch the Super Bowl and buy them some adult drinks. On average, game watchers will spend $37 on wings. Parents are more likely to buy wings than people without kids. So if you like wings, a big wangs is having a party on Super Bowl Sunday. I'm Crystal Cruz live in North Hollywood. Back to you, Pat, from Big Wangs. All right, I'll take it. Thanks, Crystal. All the excitement <laughs> leads up to Sunday. Super Bowl 53 right here on CBS 2, your official home of the Rams and the big game. Well, Jeff, Suzanne Marquez, and I will be joining Jim Hill in Atlanta for our Super Bowl coverage coming up later this week. Tonight, federal agents are investigating what they call a smuggling operation. It ended in Orange County. This afternoon, a small boat with a dozen Chinese and Mexican nationals on board washed ashore at Anaheim Bay. That's in between Seal Beach and Surfside. The group scattered, hiding in a surf shop and a coffee shop. A dozen suspects were arrested. A bellwoman is now behind bars, charged with hitting a 21-year-old college student with her SUV, then leaving her to die on the street. The deadly hit and run happened Saturday night in Redondo Beach. Angelina Pinedo was trying to cross Aviation Boulevard when she was hit. Police have arrested 21-year-old Layla Gonzalez, who's now being held on $50,000 bail. Family members held a memorial service for Pinedo, who had just finished her junior year in college. Angelina was the light of our family. She was the heart and soul. She was the energy that brought all of us together, um, something that we're all desperately going to miss. What makes this especially hard for the family to handle is Pinedo's father was killed by a hit-and-run driver when she was just two years old. Developing tonight in Houston, one of four police officers shot and wounded while serving a search warrant has been released from the hospital. Houston police tweeted that the officer was released after being treated for a gunshot wound to the shoulder. The shooting happened in a residential neighborhood. Two of the officers are in critical condition tonight and two suspects are dead. California Senator Kamala Harris is getting a jump start in the 2020 presidential campaign. Just a week after officially announcing a run for the White House, the Democratic candidate held a town hall tonight in Iowa. Harris was asked a series of questions from the audience. Among them, what is her strategy to defeat President Trump? And the people of our country, the families of our country, deserve to have leaders who are focused on their needs as opposed to speak to the lowest common denominators and base instincts and speak in a way that is about inciting fear as a distraction from the fact you're getting nothing done except helping the richest people and the biggest corporation. Harris got her biggest applause tonight when she said she would back a bill for universal health care for all Americans. After a campaign for more than a year to change the name of an Orange County elementary school, tonight, the Brea Olinda Unified School District voted to keep the name. The board voted 4-1 to one in favor of William E. Fanning Elementary School. Some parents 
made a push to change the name because they say the namesake and former school superintendent had ties to the KKK. But many others, including Fanning's grandson, said the documentation cited by opponents is unfounded. It's been a very complicated eight years for our family, and we really appreciate the outcome. I don't understand why we were challenged the way we were, but uh, I think that uh, the school board made the right decision. The name will slightly be revised to align with the school's focus. It will be called Fanning Academy of Science and Technology. Fallout from a new film. Michael Jackson's family responds to a controversial documentary. And a doctor here in Hollywood is in the hot seat after recommending medicinal marijuana to a five-year-old boy. I'm Tom Waite with a live report. I'll explain coming up. You might want to think twice before using FaceTime. How a bug is allowing people to eavesdrop on you even if you don't pick up. Hey everybody, I'm Garth Kemp out by the airport. Big change in the forecast coming our way. Details coming up. Here's a sweepstakes that sports fans will love. You could win a trip to Super Bowl 53 in Atlanta, courtesy of the Los Angeles Rams. Donate $100 to the United Way of Greater Los Angeles, and you could be on your way. Price includes two Super Bowl tickets, travel to and from Atlanta on a Rams charter, hotel, and an autographed Jared Goff jersey. Go to unitedwayla.org forward slash Super Bowl for official rules. No contribution necessary to enter. Must be 21 or older and a California resident.